the girl really has a boyfriend or a husband. Let's say that she's in a bad mood. Let's say that she just doesn't want to talk to anybody that day. Okay. You can't prevent those things from happening, but you, that doesn't mean you should still go in and be like, oh, I hope this is an available girl that's going to like me. No. Every girl that you go in on, you should assume, I'm going to get this girl. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we are going to talk about the purpose of the interaction, okay, and the mindset that you should have when you go in to do a cold approach pickup on a stranger or a group of strangers, okay? Before we continue, if you have interest in getting very, very good at the game, jump on a free 30 minute call with me, link in the description. Also subscribe if you have not already, new videos every single day. So, here is the big takeaway. The purpose of the interaction is not to win over the girl, it's not to make her like you, it's not to gain points, it's not to not fuck up, that was a double negation. What you want to do is just assume that you got the girl before you go in, okay? So if I see a stranger in public, I'm not thinking, oh no, what if I fuck this up, what if she doesn't like me, what if she has a boyfriend, what if she, blah, 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 all these negative things that I know for a fact most of you watching are running through your head Okay, instead you follow the three second rule. I have another video on that, which just entails waiting no more than three seconds before you go in. Why? Because otherwise you're gonna come up with a gi that giant list of negative stuff that I just started going through. Okay, so you just assume that you got the girl, you go in, and the whole idea is just to move things forward towards either taking her home or towards getting her phone number and setting up a date for later. Okay, and, and the, the, which one you choose is dependent on her logistical situation. So you're gonna be determining things like, what are you up to right now if it's a day game approach? If she's free, you can work things towards going on an instant date or taking her home. What are you doing after this? If you're at a nightclub, if she's open, you're gonna work on setting the frame to take her home, okay? But the main purpose of interaction is just to determine her logistics, which is her, her particular situation, what she's doing right then and there. Is she free right then and there? If not, is she free tonight? If not, is she free tomorrow? If not, when is she free? Okay, and also deal with her objections. In night game, I've, ident I've identified 14 major objections to come up when you try to take a girl home from a club. I'm not gonna go through those ever in a video on YouTube, but that's in my Occam's Razor product with the link in the description. Or you can jump on a free 30 minute call with me and join my eight week mentorship program if it's a right fit. And the link for the description for that call is, the link is in the description as well for that. So you wanna go in, Talk about the idea that the two of you should hang out, okay? And I'm not giving the exact formula away, but you're gonna be vibing back and forth, determining her logistical information, find out if you guys are able to hang out right then and there, or if you should hang out at a later date. And then based on that information, you're going to proceed accordingly, okay? This is just a giant algorithm. The game is a skill game, just like in poker, where, you, where there's optimal moves, high probability moves each step of the way. So is true for the game when you do cold approach pickup. But it's a very important principle to stress that you should not be doubting whether you're gonna get the girl. Does that mean you're gonna get 100% of the girls? No. And yes, that is a bit paradoxical and a, and a bit counterintuitive, okay? But it's the strongest mindset and gonna give you the maximal advantage to assume you can get every girl, okay? But you should also have realistic expectations that not every girl is attainable and this doesn't work 100% of the time. There's too many factors outside of your control. Okay, so let's say that the girl really has a boyfriend or a husband. Let's say that she's in a bad mood. Let's say that she just doesn't want to talk to anybody that day. Okay, you can't prevent those things from happening, but you, that doesn't mean you should still go in and be like, oh, I hope this is an available girl that's going to like me. No, every girl that you go in on, you should assume I'm going to get this girl. Okay, when I walk into a nightclub, I look around and I think someone here is going to get fucked tonight. Right? And I know that's... <laughs> My girl standing next to the camera, monitoring the technical aspects of the camera. But that's the mindset when you walk in, okay? And other advanced guys I know, they have similar mindsets. Sonny Arvado, even though we're not friends anymore, he was very good at the game. And he used to think of the club like an NBA like finals playoff game. And like he's LeBron James and like he's going to be like creating history. That's a bit more extreme. But you want to walk in and think like, Everyone is like at risk, so to speak, as it's like making it kind of to an extreme, at risk of like getting banged, like of being taken home that night, okay? Every interaction should be run like it's in like a vacuum, okay? I don't care 
if I was rejected 30 times in a row, that, does, that doesn't happen these days, but it doesn't matter if you've had a string of rejections before you go in, it doesn't matter if it's the first girl you talk to, the last girl you talk to of the night, or what happened before in that given night, or what happened the day before in terms of your success in the game, or what happened the week before, a month before. You wanna be bringing maximal advantage into each interaction. Why is that important? Let's say I get, like, just for argument's sake, a string of nine rejections in a row. Okay, on that 10th girl, and let's say just to make things more fun, let's say that's like a perfect 10. If I come in hanging my head, handicapping myself with a negative mindset, like, oh, I, I'm just getting rejected all night. Of course, this girl's going to reject me too, especially since she's a 10. What do you think is going to happen? Okay. Instead, if I bring my A game, my best personality to the interaction, my maximum confidence and mindset that, yes, of course, I'm going to get that girl. I don't give a shit that I got rejected in these interactions before. That's going to give me the best chances. Okay. And if that girl is in a good mood and, and, she, and, and I bring a nice vibe and she likes it and we have good chemistry, then I'm going to have a shot at banging that girl. Whereas if I came in with the negative mindset, see a lot of you guys like negative spiral, okay? You come into the interaction already totally doubting yourself, not sure if you're going to be able to get that girl, and yet that's already your first giant mistake, okay? I, I mentioned this on other videos. If you go into a car dealership and the car dealer salesman says, hey, I have this car here, the parts are all busted and, and the windows are broken out and you know it doesn't run very well, but do you want to buy it? If you present that version of yourself to a girl instead of like a shiny, sparkling new Lamborghini, okay, she's going to not be interested. Like if you don't believe in your own product and your own worth that you're selling, no one else is going to either. And that goes for other guys too. You're not going to command respect from other men when you're carrying yourself like you're worthless. You're not going to command respect from women, especially not attractive women, when you come in, oh, I'm, I'm too ethnic, I'm too short, my hairline, my age, I'm a loser, this and that, I never get the girls, it's just going to be another one of these nights, okay, I'm going to go do these approaches, but I know what's going to happen. No, all that shit is going to fuck you up, okay? You need to squash those mindsets. Watch my video on, on the affirmation stuff from the mystery principles, okay? And that's going to help you really elevate and get the correct mindsets in order, okay? So stop bringing in these terrible mindsets. Stop expecting rejection. And whatever you do, do not subscribe to RSD's method of state, okay? They, they say, and other coaches say this too, that you need to go in and warm up. You need to talk to fat girls and ugly girls and dudes so that you can get in state and build your vibe and build your mood up. And then those same people will tell you that if you get a string of rejections, you're going to go into a state crash and you're going to, you're going to start negative spiraling. And that can not only happen on a micro level during that same night, but on a more macro level from week to week or month to month. That's terrible. Okay. The same thing is true in poker. You want to look at each hand in a vacuum, like, like all your poker games across your life are like one, you know, long stretch. There's no, they shouldn't impact each other. Okay, if you that's what's called going on tilt. Okay, that would be the, the, the game equivalent of like a state crash. You don't want a lot of bad rejection or a string of rejections or a week of rejections negatively impact you. You want to stay strong, stay emotionally resilient, and bring your A game to every single interaction. And you do that by really embodying the whole idea that you can get any girl you approach. And the purpose of interaction is just to find out logistics and objections and deal with those objections properly and not to win over the girl that's already assumed before you go in, okay? So if you want my entire solution in this game from A to Z, jump on a free 30 minute call with me in the description. I'll show you how you get you very good in eight short weeks, okay, or less. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt, son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum